What's going on everyone? This is Sean Mitchell, Denver Real Estate Agent with Compass, and this is your February 2023 Denver Housing Market Update. Let's jump in and talk about what we're going to cover in this video. We'll start off with days on market, then move into months of housing inventory for single family homes, number of new listings, number of active listings, median and average sale price, and a new one that I'm adding on here because I think it's important for where the real estate market is going, the inflation rate. And then mortgage rates, we'll look at 12 months back as well as 10 year and all time. And then we'll take a look at Denver area unemployment rate and I'll make a 30 day prediction on what to expect in the next month. First off is days on market, and we're sitting at 36 days. That's uh, compared to an average of 49 days. You can see here, as we look at the chart, uh, those days are increasing. Based on what I can tell, the market is correcting. It's not going to crash. Uh, we're not having a housing crash. And as you can see here, it's, it's uh, hitting rates that look a lot more like what it used to look like pre-pandemic. So um, I think, I think we'll start to see some, some trends that will look very similar to previous years prior to the pandemic. Uh, I, I think we've, we've crossed over to the other side and we've, uh, we are beyond the worst of the real estate market as best as I can tell. Months of housing inventory for single family homes is still sitting at two months. So even though the days on market has increased significantly year over year, we're still extremely tight on housing inventory. What this tells me is that houses are selling, it's just taking a little bit longer for them to go under contract and close. Number of new listings is 2,197. As we seasonally do, things do slow down with people putting their houses on the market in the winter months. So usually between Thanksgiving and mid-January to late January. In fact, this year I saw things picking up significantly the beginning of this month, February. So more houses are going on the market. It's great to see that um, the increase in interest rates have not scared off all buyers. I do think we'll see things pick up, not to the extent that we saw them over the last couple of years, but I do see and expect for a healthy spring and summer market. Number of active listings is sitting at 3,256. And this as well, I do expect when we do get new numbers for the month of February, this will take a trend up. And uh, again, this, this further confirms that I think that things will be looking a little bit more like what they have pre-pandemic and much less like the fast and furious, multiple offers, well over asking price, uh, that we saw during those couple of pandemic years or two years uh, post the start of the pandemic. Median and average sale price, the median is sitting at 590,000, the average 686,275. And you can see here that we hit a peak in April of last year. Prices have been coming down quite a bit. That's in direct relation to the mortgage interest rates, which are directly tied to the federal rates that they've been increasing gradually to try and drive down the inflation rate, which we'll talk about in just a moment. But we've actually seen since April of 2022 to January numbers, we've seen a 16.3% drop from those all-time highs. Now, as I mentioned before, I think the worst of things are over. I do think that things will start to pick up. It won't look like the last couple of years, I don't think. Hopefully not, that's not sustainable. Uh, but I think we'll, we, we will see some healthy growth and trending upwards moving forward. So you can rest assured if you're a seller considering putting your house on the market in 2023 that uh, we should see home prices start to go back up again. And uh, if you're curious, a year ago in 2022, the average was 681,590. And January 2023, this year, 686,275. So uh, we, we've lost about a year's worth of value, but um, uh, take heart, those price increases 
that we saw last year in particular were not sustainable. So we will see some steady growth moving forward. So if you bought a house last year, I helped you do that, or you, you, you bought one and you're watching this video, uh, you should see some steady growth moving forward. Now to cover the new category in this video, inflation rate, since it is an important driver for the mortgage interest rates. And what we saw was not as large of a drop in the inflation rate in January as what we were expecting. Therefore, this is causing the Federal Reserve to increase the rates again, which is impacting the mortgage interest rates. Those have taken a hike up in the last couple of weeks. We're back up to 6.5%. We did see a low back at the beginning of the month at 6.09%. But since those new inflation rate numbers have come out, that mortgage interest rate has seen a slight jump. Well, I think that's quite a large jump in a short amount of time. So until that new inflation number for February comes out, I think we may see some slight increases in this mortgage interest rate over the next couple of weeks. Mid-March, we'll have those new numbers for the inflation rate and we'll find out what the Federal Reserve is going to do about their rates. And uh, so new, new video, make sure you're subscribed to this video. I will do a new recording somewhere around that time because I think this is important. But um, if you're shopping and, and, and uh, you found a house, make sure you lock in your mortgage rate because I think over the next couple of weeks it could go up slightly. Uh, from what it is today at six and a half. What's the unemployment rate at for the Denver metro area? Well, it's pretty good at the moment. It's sitting at 2.8% compared to the national average of three and a half percent. What's my 30 day prediction? Well, I think mortgage rates, as I mentioned, will probably, I would not be surprised if they go up slightly from where they're at currently at six and a half percent. I would be shocked if we see a downed trend over the next couple of weeks. Second, spring inventory is here. Anecdotally, houses in my neighborhood as well as houses in the areas that I've been helping clients have been going on the market more and more. And they've also been going under contract pretty quickly with multiple offers. So I think we've hit that spring season and we'll, we should see more and more listings go on the market. And the last thing I'll add here for this 30 day prediction is that uh, the days on market is not going to look like what it looked like the last couple of years, just because we're seeing more houses go on the market and the average and median sale price are starting to go back up again. It doesn't mean that your house is going to go under contract with 10 offers all over asking price in the first week. And now if it does, that's great. And that's always the objective. But a 30 day, a 30 day time window to get your house under contract during this season, spring season is probably a reasonable expectation. Could be faster, could be slower, but if you were my client, I'd really caution you on expecting for it to go under contract within the first weekend. That wraps up this February 2023 Denver Housing Market Update. My name is Sean Mitchell with Compass, and my contact information will be at the end of this video in the event you want to discuss the buying or selling process. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.